Well, new at 10, certainly feels like it today. High school football season is right around the corner. And to kick it off, a shocking new study is being released on the impact of concussions. Researchers say this is the largest study ever done on the degenerative brain disorder known as CTE. Fox 61's Jenna DeAngelis joins us now with more on this study and what's being done right here in Connecticut to keep your athletes safe. Jenna? Audrey and Lorenzo, that new study from Boston University mirrors other studies in showing football players are at high risk for brain injury. Researchers looked at the brains of 111 former NFL players. All but one tested positive for CTE, a disease caused by repeated head trauma over time. There's no doubt football can be a dangerous sport. And you can't always be 100% safe. Which is why Connecticut coaches say the approach to the game has changed. It's not the old school attacking like when I was in school attack and, and, and high school and, and played in college. You know, you, you, you're coming in with your head. It's a safety first mentality. There's designated coaches that take their helmets away, their pads away, uh, so they don't try to sneak back in the game. Especially when it comes to concussions. New research focused on football players shows the impact repeated head trauma could have on the brain. It looks at the degenerative brain brain disease CTE, also known as chronic traumatic encephalopathy, which doctors say can lead to trouble with memory, trouble with behavior, depression, aggressiveness. According to the study, among 202 deceased former football players, that includes high school, college, and NFL players, CTE was neuropathologically diagnosed in 177. Researchers behind the study say 99% of NFL players involved tested positive for CTE. They often had the most severe type of pathology. Um, and then when you kind of get a younger age and lower level of play, we saw less severe pathology. While CTE is often detected by doctors, it can only be diagnosed after someone dies with an examination of the brain. It's a very select population, and I don't think it's fair to extrapolate from that population and from this study to everybody that plays football or any sport and what percentage of those may have evidence of CTE. Even still, the Connecticut Interscholastic Athletic Conference has safety measures in place. There are limitations to how many hours athletes can play the contact sport. Coaches are also trained. We actually have to take a test to make sure that we're competent in, in that area. At the end of the day, when it comes to being on the field, this coach, who's also a parent, says safety always comes before the game. If I wasn't a coach, I would I would want an, another the other adult that's there to focus on that for my children and and any of the other kids. The CIAC keeps track of concussion data from high schools across the state. A spokesperson says concussion rates are lower in Connecticut compared to the national average, which suggests to them their regulations have been effective. Jenna DeAngelis, Fox 61 News.